Hey everyone, welcome to Mountain Women Radio. My name is Tammy Treyer, I am your host, and you can find myself and my family at treyerwilderness.com, where we are educating on our faith-led preparedness, off-grid, and homestead lifestyle. I'm so glad you are joining me today. And before we dive in, I want to mention that this is a fabulous time to learn how to use a sun oven. I don't know about you guys, but we utilize a sun oven on our property for the, we've been for the last decade and absolutely love being able to utilize and harness the powers of the sun. If you are not familiar with sun ovens, you can uh, enjoy a bunch of videos on our YouTube channel at Treyer Wilderness on sun oven cooking. And if you are interested in purchasing a sun oven, you can go to treyerwilderness.com slash sun oven and you will find the All American Sun Oven and a bunch of discounted prices for you as one of our um, audience members. So definitely check that out. It is uh, definitely worth the investment. It is another resource that we can utilize to cook our food and it doesn't cost us anything. No fuel needed, just sunshine. And we've got plenty of it these days, right? The other thing I wanna to mention to you guys is that um, this is a fabulous time of year to grow your own food. Many of us have been doing that for a long time, but through the pandemic, I believe that there are many people seeking um, new skills. And as we talked about two weeks ago, knowledge is not power until you make it active and add that activity to it. And one of the things that I want to encourage you to do is check out my friend, Melissa K. Norris, and you can go to her uh, organic gardening workshop by going to treyerwilderness.com slash organic gardening workshop and there she will walk you through all aspects of gardening and it is important to learn how to do these things if you are unfamiliar that is a great way to do it another thing that you should have in your physical library at home is her book which takes you from um, the soup to nuts of gardening and is a fabulous resource we have it on our shelf and I only share with you the things that I feel have great great value and are of great quality and you can find that by going to um, treyerwilderness.com slash family garden plan I also want to mention a dear friend of mine Millie Copper she is an author and has written um, the books Havoc in Wyoming. It is a fabulous series. And if you have been taken back by all the things that are going on and feeling unprepared, I want to encourage you to read her books. Her books are amazing and they really take you out of the box that you might have been living in and give you a lot of food for thought. And you can find her books by going to treyerwilderness.com slash Millie Copper. That's M-I-L-L-I-E-C-O-P-P-E-R. And you can also find her books in audio by going to treyerwilderness.com slash Millie Copper Audio. Again, for those of you that are new to following, um, the show notes are available on our website. And you can find them archived for this show at treyerwilderness.com slash podcast dash 217. So today's topic is finding comfort. These are crazy times and um, I, you know I am not a doom and gloomer and I am the forever optimist, but I'm also realistic and I do believe that things are going to continue to get worse before they get better. But the good thing is, is that God is going to bring us to an amazing place on the other side of all this. And what we need to do is use our time wisely. And finding comfort can come from uh, in a lot of different ways. Um, I find comfort in so many different ways myself. Uh, one of them is um, spending at least an hour in the morning with God. Doing my devotions, reading the Bible, praying to Him, writing in my journal. 
It's all part of my routine. It is a habit. It is a an addiction, a, a very good addiction. And I, I'm happy to be addicted to Jesus. Additionally, I get out and I walk and I am in the outdoors as much as I can possibly be right now. We've had a lot of rain. So it's, and we're also working inside right now. So it's a little tricky, but I make sure I try to get outside every day. The other thing is finding comfort and pleasure in doing your day-to-day -day tasks. I, I like doing my dishes. I will put a podcast on or listen to some music or listen to a YouTube video while I'm doing dishes. I try to unwind while I'm doing my different chores. I also enjoy working on projects and although life is extremely crazy right now, I am delving into making myself some moccasins. So my evenings are spent, you know, sitting and unwinding and, and uh, utilizing my hands. You know, um, dexterity is being lost in today's society because most people are merely using their thumbs. And we need to remember to utilize our hands, get them dirty, do things with them. And you know, when you're doing skills like that and utilizing your hands to make things that are very rewarding to you, something that you're actually going to utilize, you know, you get the reward from that, but you also, um, it's really healthy. It's really healthy because it's not only using your hands, it's using your mind. And so often we get lost in these uh, scrolling the scrolling madness of looking at Facebook or Pinterest or Instagram or any of those things. And truly, we need to learn to separate ourselves from the eye jiggers, as the mountain man calls it, and seek comforts from things that previously gave us comfort and in doing new things. I get such pleasure from learning new skills. It is, it is something that's uh, just part of my makeup. I love delving in and learning new things. And being able to do that is really important. And, and as I said two weeks ago, you know, knowledge is not power until we add action to it. So sitting on our butts watching TV or, you know, sitting and scrolling endlessly is not going to add anything to our lives. As a matter of fact, it's most likely going to put you in a lower place than you may already be. So seeking comfort is important during these times and that we know actually how to do it. Most people today don't know where their comfort and their joy and their happiness come from. It's been, it's for one, been ripped out from under many. Others, they've been in such a hustle bustle place, they don't even know where to start to look for it. And, and in, in that hustle bustle place, they've lost their creativity and, and their desires. And that's part of what I want to encourage you guys is to relocate those things in your life and, and find new things in your life that give you joy and give you happiness and give you comfort. Now, keep in mind in saying all of that, notice what the first thing was that I shared with you. My first thing is an hour minimum with God in the morning. And if I don't get that, I really feel off center. I really don't feel myself. It is a really important part of my day that I don't let get jeopardized. And in saying that, you know, that is the basis of my life. It is the foundation because that is truly where my joy and my happiness come from, comes from, as well as my comfort. And spending that time with him allows me to be more creative and in, instills in me the desire to do new things and to seek new things. And I feel that he feeds me constantly by giving me new ideas of things to do and, and um, puts things across my desk or in my devotions, um, I find something that is really useful that I feel is definitely divinely planted. So I just want to encourage you guys, you know, there is great comfort in being in a garden. So if you're not used to gardening, I want to encourage you to get out and get your hands dirty, even if it's just planting a couple things in pots this year. When we are able to plant seeds and watch them grow and come into fruition and just experience that, being out in nature 
and getting your hands dirty and, and spending that time outside in and of itself is very rejuvenating and people don't do it enough. And this is a time where we need to be really seeking our comfort and knowing where our comfort comes from and learning maybe to detach from the things that we thought were giving us comfort that we now know didn't. I know myself, these last couple weeks, I have like totally detached from Facebook. It just, it's not serving me at all. And with this nice weather and all the things that we have going on, there's a lot of excitement and a lot of joy right within those things. Spending time with my family is another huge one for me and that's second on my list. Actually, that's third on my list because making sure that I am healthy and well is going to enable me to serve them best. But take time for yourself. Take time to find your comforts in life and to keep yourself in a good place through all of this because it is a crazy time, but it doesn't have to be a terrible time. It needs to be a time that we learn how to handle things, how to strengthen ourselves, how to find peace and comfort in the chaos. And it can be done. It can be done. And uh, sharing with you what I have uh, as far as my addictions to Jesus and, that, and that's how I start my day, I want to encourage you guys to try embracing it. You know, it takes about a month to create a new habit. And when you start to see the benefits of a new habit, just like exercising, and you start to see your body toning, it's pretty encouraging, right? Well, when you start delving in and spending time with God and making that a priority, you will see the results there too. So those are my thoughts for today in finding your peace and your comfort through any situation you may walk out in life. Not just these hard times now, but anything. When you learn to keep yourself centered and keep yourself relaxed and keep yourself at peace, regardless of what's going on around you, it puts you in a really good seat. It enables you to go through very stressful times in a comfortable way. And you're going to need to have that skill if things were to ever get worse. Having that skill is is really a a life skill so start harnessing that now and start tapping into that and take care of yourself through these times so in the meantime we will be praying for you and keeping you all in our thoughts and prayers and i look forward to having you join me again next week you can find the show notes for this show at treyerwilderness.com slash podcast 217 you guys take care and god bless